Welcome back. In this segment, we'll try to cover several different topics in a short period of time. So let's get started. The new city administrator, what do we know about her? Let's start with you, Jim. So what we know is she came from a community that was uh, significantly smaller than Hagerstown. Um, you know, I guess my main issue at this point is I, I just, I haven't seen her out and about. Uh, and maybe she is and she's just in places that I'm not. I'm not suggesting that she's not out and about. But I've not seen her, I've not seen her engaged in the community. Just my opinion. Ashley? I really uh, worked well with and admired the previous city administrator, Bruce Zimmerman. Um, he came from a background where he was actually the city administrator for a city that was somewhat slightly larger than the city of Hagerstown. Um, had the patience of a saint. I know that as being on his board. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there were big shoes to fill. And as far as I'm concerned, I, I feel like this decision is really just filling a quota. Colin? Well, I, I really can't say that I have an opinion because I haven't met her or had the opportunity to get to see any th her in action. So I think uh, the same as, as Jim said, I know that she came from a significantly smaller environment. And I, I'm wondering whether that's going to pose a challenge considering just kind of the crux of issues that we have coming up here over the next few years. Yeah, you know, the reality is, and, and, and we can say, well, city administrator skills are city administrator skills, and at some level that's true. Yeah. But the reality is that, that issues that face a city that are small versus a city that is medium-sized, issues that face a city yeah. that has good economic development versus ours that, that needs help. Um, well, let's talk about the fact that she was really only a city, administ a city administrator in Weirton for three years. Yeah. So, so I did I mean, do some how research. Much, on how much can you actually turn around a city in three years? And if you're willing yeah. to leave a post as city administrator after 36 months? So I did do on. some research on the town that she's from, and it actually used to be a, a steel mill community. And they've actually kind of faced similar challenges to our area as far as steel mill industry slowed down. So they, well, we weren't a milling industry. And we aren't a milling industry. We used to be a manufacturing industry. Sure. So th similar challenges in that they've started losing people with employment. Uh, they actually have a lot of people now that actually travel from their community all the way to Pittsburgh just for a job. It'll be interesting to see what she does. Next question. Economic development in Washington County. Do you see a turning point? Ashley? <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody else should answer that question. <laughs> Colin? Um, I, I, I certainly keep hoping. Um, I think that there are some things going on in the city of Hagerstown. Um, for the county as, as a whole, I think we have a long way to go. So whatever movement there is, it's not a huge amount. Jim? Yeah, I'm, I'm not... Um I'm, I'm always hopeful. I'm an optimist at heart, but I, I'll tell you what, uh, historically we've not done so well, and, um, you know, I, I'm, not seeing, I'm not seeing the traction. The economy is growing nationwide. I realize that we're always on the lagging end of that as Washington County. We were the last to go into the recession. We were the last to come out of it. Um, but I'm just, I'm just not seeing the activity. You know, I know they're going to wherever they're going, uh, to 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 do a visit, um, yeah, I I'm not sure what the plan is. I know we we spent a lot of money and a lot of time um, yeah. with the volunteer person that that put together that that strategic plan with the with the consultant. Where are we on that? Is that right. another plan on the shelf that so, nobody's paying attention to? Yeah. So so I uh, I actually looked at the Department of Labor and uh, their worker uh, layoff notices and Washington County lost 402 jobs this year. That's kind of sad. Now, of course, that's not a net gain, so I don't know what actual net gain or loss was, uh, but I do know that uh, the county commissioners did recently take a trip to Korea to discuss with an unknown company doing an unknown food services uh, which is supposed to bring in 100 jobs to an unknown part of the southern Washington County. Now the good That's news, a lot of unknowns. The good news is we do have the possibility of the medical marijuana pump plant in Hancock. We've got the city now approving that, so there's some potential. 
but I think in my mind that's one of the one of the small bright spots. Okay, great. Lastly, who do you believe is going to get the presidential nomination from each party? Colin? Well, since we live in a world where the media make these decisions for us, I think the media has spoken. It's going to be Donald Trump and Hillary, and Hillary Clinton. Okay. Jim? So, um, much to my chagrin, I can't argue the Donald Trump point. Um, I, you know, I, I can't say that I would ever vote for him, but I think he's, I think he's on his way. And, I, I, and there are some things about him I like, but on balance, he, I view him as a negative. On the, on the Democratic side, I don't know. I got to tell you, and I stated this in a, in a previous segment on another show, if Joe Biden gets in, I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I really do. Um, I think he, he. But he's boring. You know, I don't know that I, I don't know that we can say that. I have not I have not heard him to the extent that I would suggest whether he's boring, not boring, capable, incapable. All I know is that there's not much to choose from right now, and I'd really like to see another. Uh, Martin O'Malley is nowheresville in my opinion. Um, I'd like to see what he can do. So who's going to get it? Based on the current set of candidates, I'm guessing Hillary. I think Joe Biden could give a run for the money, though. Ashley? I'd have to say that, yes, uh, Trump and Clinton, because the voter populace has apparently stuck their heads in a toilet and flushed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, you know, okay, so I, I can't disagree on Trump. Um, you know, I, I, you know, am I going to say that I personally think that's a good idea? I'm, you know, I'm just going to be quiet on the issue. Um, but as far as Democratic goes, I actually think Bernie Sanders is kind of pushing from behind. He'll I never, don't know if he'll, he'll, he'll actually get it, it. He'll never make but, it, and you can boil it down into five words. He'll never make it because in his recent interview with the New York Times, when they asked, are you a capitalist? And he said, no, I'm a democratic socialist. No. Capitalism is still a pretty popular concept with America on both sides well, of the political table. But that's not a table. fair criticism because if you listen to the to his entire to his entire speech, he said he said that he is a capitalism or a capitalist, but rather what he believes is a is a, a system that better distributes wealth. So that's that's really taken out of context. That's exactly what he said, though, and that's I, exactly why he's going yeah. to lose because so. he has no concept of what it means to come out there to the New York Times and say I'm a democratic socialist. <laughs> and <laughs> I think it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> going to be an interesting race. So next up, the panel discusses the offer by two Maryland senators to allow Syrian refugees to relocate here to the free state. Stay with us. <laughs>